everybody uh, just went down to Middleburg, Florida and picked up a used but new to me Pelican Bass Raider 10E and uh, felt like I got a pretty good deal on it. There's a few little mods I want to do but not many. The thing is ready to fish. Uh, in fact, I've already had it fishing a little bit and uh, works out great. Got a couple of ponds in my yard and I've had them in the pond just playing with it. Uh, I think I'm going to love it. So uh, we'll just take a little quick walk around and I'll show you what I got. Show you what I intend to do with it and uh, see if you like it. Just comment below if you see anything I need to do uh, or some ideas you may have. Just let me know in the comments and we'll, uh, we'll see what, come, what we can make happen. Alright, stay tuned. Okay, when I picked it up, it came with everything you see except for that little trolley underneath. And it's just kind of a little makeshift kind of to get it from the shed over here back to the pond. It came with a trolling motor. It's a 45 pound Minn Kota Riptide. Uh, I like that. I did put this bracket right here on here. This has come off of one of my kayaks. Or an accessory I had bought for one of my kayaks. It's a, a quick disconnect, just a slide rail, and uh, it comes in good for setting up a depth finder, a cup holder, or anchor trolley, or anything else you want. And I had it laying around, so I just went ahead and stuck it on there. Uh, had the cell phone holder, which I felt like was pretty cool. Uh, be able to use it, I'm sure. Two swivel seats, like new condition. I did go ahead and get it registered for the state of Georgia. So there's a new decal there. I still got to change the numbers over to my new numbers, but it is what it is until I can get my numbers. Uh, the Autocraft Deep Cycle Marine Battery. And a 3.5 four-stroke mercury outboard that runs great, and uh, I'm already in love with that. So yeah, just a little quick walk around. Boat seems to be in really good shape. Came with a rod holder, the little Scotty rod holder. That's my paddle. Didn't come with the paddle, but yeah. Guy had it decorated with a lot of decals, so I guess they can stay. I don't see where they're hurting anything. I think the guy that had this thing, you said he used it in, uh, he lived in Panama City and had it out, or not Panama City, he lived in Tampa, Florida at one point in time and had it on out on the Tampa Bay a few times. Said it did good out there. So if it can handle the Tampa Bay, it should handle anything I got for it. I do do a lot of saltwater fishing, mix it up with some fresh water. But uh, my favorite probably is trolling for speckled trout. And uh, this is the end of September right now. And the speckled trout will be really turning on to some artificial stuff here in the next few weeks. So I'm getting really excited about that. I think I'm gonna have to put me another rod holder or two in here maybe. Uh, I've got a little small cooler to set right between the seats. The tackle box will set down in between the seats and actually fit under the seat. So that's cool. It was pre-wired at one point in time for the trolling motor to hook to the battery in the back right here. But uh, personally, I don't like the plug-ins. It always seems to be a weak point in the battery connection so I'm just gonna hardwire it I mean that that wire may get in the way at some point but I do like to hardwire it I do have a floor mat it's like a yoga mat that I purchased for it that could lay in there and cover up that wire so I don't think I'll have a problem with that we'll know after a few trips but uh, in the meantime it is what it is. I think I'll get a uh, tub and put that motor in some water and crank it up and let you see it run for a minute. 
and people may have a question on how quiet the little Mercury four-stroke is and how well it runs or what have you so I think I'll do that I think I'll hook it up so y'all stay tuned I'll be right back okay so I got the oh I went ahead and set my tackle box in there too that's kind of how it says that's the Plano it's the big jumbo that's 737 could go a little bit smaller and it would slide all the way under the seat but to my surprise it won't there's a couple of bolts that hang down underneath it that keeps it from going up under there all the way but that's fine it's still uh, not a problem plenty of leg room still um, but there's the mercury 3.5 full disclosure I did go ahead and crank it it's been a while since I crank it up but it was not a problem so I'm gonna go ahead and crank it now and show you what I like about it and dislike about it Okay, to start it up, you have to unscrew this button on the top to uh, relieve the pressure from the tank. And then it's got an on and off gauge down here on the bottom. You just turn it to the on position. Put it to start. It's got a choke. Shouldn't have to choke it because I just had it cranked. Just crank it like that. And it'll sit there and just purr, purr, purr all day. The camera's about 16, 18 inches from the motor, so you can hear it. And it's quieter than that. And that's what I do like about it, the fact that it runs so quietly. And it runs smooth. What I dislike about it, if anything, is it don't have a reverse. It's got a forward gear lever right here. Put it in forward. Take it out of gear. But there is no reverse. So if you want to go in reverse, spin the handle around. Go in reverse. But I've had it out on the water running it and uh, tried that. It's not a problem. It just takes a little bit of a minute to get used to. It's been around in your seat. Uh, so you can reach it. Uh, otherwise, not a problem. Like I do say, it does run pretty good. Real good, as a matter of fact. The fuel button is right in the front. Just push it, shut it off. Nice little rig. The trolling motor, you've seen it laying down in the down position earlier. Well, when I'm fishing, I like it, I keep it up that way. Let me set this camera down. Why? Because of that seat. Just keep it up. And when I need to use the trolling motor, I'll just loosen this. Let it slide down to the depth that I need it and lock it back in. Fish all day. Pull it up. It's out of the water. And it's out of the way. So that's the way I do it when I'm actually fishing. When I'm running the motor, I'll just lay it, lay the trolling motor down in the boat. And uh, I have to slide the seat back just a little bit, lay the motor down, and I'm on my way. But uh, all in all, I think it's a good rig. Once I get the mat in the bottom of it, quiets it down some, makes it a little bit more comfortable to stand because of the little ridges in the bottom of the right right here not the most comfortable on your feet but with that mat in there makes it pretty comfortable you can see the weight capacity on these little jokers 
zoom in here a minute. Two persons for 515 pounds. 600 pounds with the persons, the motor, the gear, rated for a 3.5 horsepower motor. So yeah, everything top of the line. Okay, if y'all like the Bass Raider, if you have one and you have some mods done to yours that you really think you can't live without, let me know. And if you're looking for just a good all-around fishing boat, in my opinion, this is a good one for small water, fresh water or salt water. Does an outstanding job. All right, well, till next time, y'all have fun, and uh, be looking for some more videos up forthcoming. And we'll see what we can make happen.